In this tutorial, we will be walking through setting up a new workspace in Commodity View. Here we have a couple of preloaded examples. This one is the default where it full screens all of your tabs that you open. So we have a grains tab here, a couple more across the top. So you can just click through these. Everything opens full screen. Additionally, you can split screen things like I have in workflows here. So you can have one that's always open and then another that you are toggling back and forth between a few different panels, or you can set up more of a quadrant type system like the ag market overview that I have here. So lots of things going on at the same time, a chart linked to a quote board, which we'll talk about how to do later and a couple different quote boards up here for different things, a weather map. So you can store a lot in one workspace or you can create multiple workspaces to keep things separated. To create that new workspace, you're gonna start by clicking the plus down here on the bottom ribbon. You'll name your workspace. For this one, we'll go with video example. Hit enter and you'll have your new blank workspace here. You can add options here, or you can use the navigation keys at the top. That's kind of what I prefer. We'll go ahead and add a grains quote board here first and maybe throw a chart up next to it. So as you'll see, those will stack right up here at the top. If you would like to make this into a split screen, you simply grab the tab that you want to move and you move it to whatever style you want. So this would put those stacked this way if you don't want to do it that way, you want it the kind of traditional split screen, you can move that over here as well. If you'd like to add another feature here, we'll go ahead and add in a map. So that adds the map next to this. If you don't like that, that might be a bit impractical. You can move this down to the bottom and get a bit better of a view here. Of course, you can add on your layers and make all your adjustments here. Right now, with the eyeball icon being crossed out for all of these, nothing is showing. So we'll go ahead and uh, unclick one of those, and then that map will start filling in with that information. And obviously, you can uh, scroll in to see that on the county basis, and you can scroll out, and this will give you a more broad evaluation as well. Additionally, I had mentioned that you can link quote boards to the charts. So how you would do that is you would find this box for your quote board, change that to blue, and then you would find the chart you want to link to and click blue for that as well. Then once you come over here, you can click into the different commodities and the contract periods, and that will move your graph every time that you click into these. And that's how you would link your quote board with your chart. And additionally, just kind of the basics of maneuvering these tabs around. Again, if you want to see something full screen just for a minute, you can hit this button here to maximize. That would give you the full screen view. And if you want to put it back to where it was, you would just hit the same button and it would minimize it again. Go ahead and get rid of that and then you would be able to navigate through these you can add with the pluses within each of these panels so we'll say you want to add another quote board here maybe one for livestock then you can do that as you'll see when you click into these nothing happens with the graph because they are not linked so we'll go ahead and move this one to blue as well so now this is linked and when you click into each of these, that graph now moves with this panel. Then if you click back into grains and you click here, then it also moves with the grains panel as well. So you can link multiple boards to the same chart. Just be cognizant when you're clicking through these that you know exactly what the chart is pulling up. But those are the basic mechanics of setting up your own space and watch more videos to get more in-depth in insights on more things you can do in Commodity View.